What's going on guys? Thanks again for joining me for another video. So what we're going to be doing today is a soil test on our lawn. Uh, what I decided to go with this year is the My Soil Test Kit. Just going to show you guys why I decided to go with this one this year. So let's dive in and see what's inside. Alright, so this is the soil test that I got for my lawn this season. Uh, it's called My Soil. You can order these at mysoiltesting.com. Uh, you can order these individually, but what I got here, it's called the Pro Pack, which you get two test kits, plus you get this probe where you can take your soil sample with. So the main reason I decided to go with this test kit is very simply just because of the convenience factor of it. Um, you guys, you can call your local county extension office and see if they'll do a, a test for you, but that's gonna involve getting your soil, bringing it there, Waiting a week or two, they say, and then having to drive there, get the sample back. So this just makes it a lot easier as far as getting a, a test up the kit here. Uh, basically, what you're going to have is a basic set of instructions. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to mysoiltesting.com and you're going to want to register your kit. The number is right here. Just some basic instructions on how to collect a good soil sample mail it to the lab, get your results and all that stuff. So it's gonna measure things such as your pH level, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and all that. Another great thing here is you get a postage paid envelope. This is what you're gonna send your soil back in. No need to put a stamp on there. Basically, once you have your soil, you are gonna put everything right in here. And then you're going to want to save this till the end. This is, has a liquid and this does have an absorbing capsule in it. So this is where you're going to put your soil sample in. You're going to mail it right in this and then you'll be good to go. What's also great about this product is that once you actually get your results back, it's going to show you all your nutrient levels, where you're at, and then it's going to actually make recommendations on what you should put into your soil, such as what certain fertilizers you should use, you can get stuff at the big box store, but if you also go to yardmastery.com, they're going to have recommendations on products to use there. All right, so when you guys go to mysoiltesting.com, this is what you're going to see. Uh, you're going to go right down to the bottom. You're going to create an account. You're going to put in an email address and a password. Once you do create an account, it's going to show you the registration date. Just going to put lawn and turf. You can do the whole yard, section of the yard, whatever you guys want, and you can just name a location of it. All right, guys, so we're going to start out in my backyard here. Uh, we're going to grab a box. We're going to grab the probe, and we're going to grab a little tool that's in there just to take the dirt out of. So, um, you know, my whole yard is just about 6,000 square feet, and this back part is 2,000 exactly. So we're going to collect about five different soil samples from different areas here, and, uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is my next section, guys. Uh, this is my side yard here, and this is about 1,700 square feet. Uh, so we're gonna pull some soils out of this one. Uh, again, we're gonna do about five to seven different locations. Got a couple of trees here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do about five to seven different spots and get some more soil. Let's do it. So all you're gonna do is just take the probe, go all the way down. I think I hit a rock there, but got about five inches, so that's good. All right, and this is my front yard, guys. This is about 2,100 square feet. Still looking a little bit dormant, uh, you know, it's the end of February here, early March, so um, it's about 32 degrees today, pretty cold, uh, but soon enough it will be nice and green, but let's take some soil samples, baby.
Guess they don't like to put their dog on the leash, huh? So that's about it guys, we got about 20 samples, so let's go inside and take a look at what we got. All right guys, so we got all our samples. What I did, I actually transported this right to the box, so you guys can use this box to put all your soil in also. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix everything up nice and good. Don't wanna have any of these roots in here, no plant matter or anything, so let's just mix this up good and get it all together. It's also just a good idea to wear gloves guys, just so that you don't contaminate anything. I mean, you can wash your hands and do this, but I just like to wear gloves just so that we're not putting anything in there that's not supposed to be there. All right, so we got it all mixed up pretty good. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab the scoop that comes in the My Soil test kit. And what we're going to do is just, just going to do one full scoop, get it right to the top. Just make sure you get all these roots out again. Don't want these in here. Let's take that out. And then one nice level scoop and that's it. Okay, so now comes the last step. We're gonna take the uh, jar here with the soil in it and the capsule. We're gonna go ahead and open that up and then we're just gonna put this scoop right in there. So when you're opening this up, guys, very important, just make sure that you do not spill any of the water that's in there. So we're just gonna open it up nice and carefully. Again, don't spill anything that's in there. I'm gonna put that down, put this down. And we're just gonna put our scoop right in there. And that's it. All right, so every, once everything is in there, we're just gonna take the jar, gonna close it up, just do it nice and tight so that nothing comes out. Just like that, put that down. Now the great thing too, it's got a barcode right on that. It's gonna be the same number that's on your kit. So you can keep this, and this is how you're gonna get your results. The bar is right here, number's right here, so um, now we're just going to go ahead and put this in the postage paid envelope, put it in our mailbox, and then we'll be good to go. We'll get the results in about, they say, six to nine days, I believe. So uh, that's it. So we are back guys, um, we got the results of the test and it only took six days. I sent it away on March the 3rd, got the results back on March the 9th. Looked at my email, had an email from my soil saying the test results are ready, signed into my soil and I was a little bit shocked at what I saw. Um, so before we do get into the results, I just want to say that I really do think that everybody should get a soil test done because number one. It was kind of fun to me to just see where everything is and see where it's at, especially either if you're a new home buyer or if you've had an established lawn and you've never done it before. Uh, it's awesome. You're going to see exactly where everything is at. Number two is that it's going to save you money and who doesn't want to save money? I mean, you're going to, if you're going to be throwing stuff out, you really don't know where you're at. If you're high in something, low in something, and you're just throwing stuff out there without really knowing what your soil's at, then you know, what are we really doing here? So if you want a great lawn and you want to dominate your neighbors, then get a soil test so that it can set a foundation for your season ahead. All right, so let's get into the results and see how we panned out. All right, so when you guys sign in, this is what you're going to see. You're going to go to mysoiltesting.com. You're going to put in your email passcode to the bottom right. You're going to click on the word completed, and then it's going to bring you right to your results. When we get to our results, this is what we're gonna see. We're gonna see everything. The green bars, that's your optimal range of the nutrients that you need in your lawn. So like I said before, without doing a soil test, you're really not gonna know what you need. As we can see here, nitrogen's looking good. Phosphorus is a little high, which is normal. I did a full rehab. If you guys look at my last video, I was using a lot of starter fertilizer, which has a lot of phosphorus in there for root development. So that's fine. 
That is going to get used throughout the year. But again, I'm going to use fertilizers that aren't going to be pertained too much towards phosphorus. Going from the uh, to the right there, you're going to see the K. That is the potassium. That is really an underappreciated nutrient. That is going to help with all kinds of stress, whether it's heat stress, foot traffic. If you have dogs, kids walking on the lawn, it's perfect. Um, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, we can all help that out with some dolomitic lime, which is great. Uh, the iron, this is why I was a little bit of surprise. The iron is super high, uh, which I don't really know. I mean, I did use a little bit of mar um, lorganite, which has iron in it, but yeah, it's super high. It's okay. Not going to worry about that too much. But the main thing is all the way to the right is the pH is a little bit low. Number one is the first job is that we got to get that correct. We got to get that to an optimal level right between anywhere between a 6.5 and a 7.0. So we are going to be doing lime. I do live in New England and we do naturally have acidic uh, soil. So we are definitely going to be throwing that down hard. And that's what we're going to do. So on the next screen, it's just going to show you recommendations as to what you can do. You can either do an organic product, you can do synthetic, but obviously this is gearing me towards a potassium based sort of plan. So it's going to show you the pounds that you need for the year per thousand. So like I said, I mean, I, I am going to gear everything towards potassium. Uh, when you look at the three numbers on the bag, N, P and K, I'm going to really be focusing on that K. So again, that's what I mean. Like you want to know exactly what you're throwing down. You if you didn't get a soil test and you're throwing things down with more phosphorus, more phosphorus, you don't want to overload your lawn with phosphorus. So again, get a soil test, know where everything is at so that you can dominate. So then we're going to get to the next screen here. Um, this is really going to break down everything. So as I said before, the pH is really low. So we are going to be hammering it with lime. We're going to be doing application in the spring, maybe the summer and definitely in the fall when we overseed and aerate and everything. So we're going to focus on that. If your pH is not right, all the fertilizers that you're throwing at it, it's not going to be able to absorb any of those nutrients. So that is the number one thing. Lime is also going to help with your calcium and your magnesium. If you get a dolomitic lime, that's the great thing about it is that it's got a lot of magnesium in it. So it's going to raise those levels up to an optimal level so that we will be good. So again, I don't want to make this uh, video too long here. I know we're going on about almost 13 minutes. So again, get a soil test, guys. I think it's one of the best things to do for your lawn. And if you really want to dominate and you really want to have a great lawn, I really think that everybody should do that. Okay, guys, so that is the process of getting a soil test done. As you can see, the benefits of doing it, knowing exactly where you're at is awesome. So it's going to set me for a foundation for the rest of my season. Um, I really appreciate you guys looking at this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. We'll see you on the next one.